but today we're going to take on one of our most requested challenges the Takis and Hot Cheeto Challenge. Oh yeah, mama! All right, let's do the Takis, Fuego Takis and Hot Cheetos Challenge. Uh, fuego, uh, meaning fire in Spanish. And this challenge is pretty straightforward. It's basically a 9.9 .9 ounce bag of uh, taco, Takis Fuego and a nine ounce bag of Hot Cheetos. Mix them together. I'm gonna make a mess. <laughs> this has been a highly requested one. And uh, yeah, there were a lot of fast forwarding in this, so apologize in advance. Let's get started. As I've said in the comment section many times, we only eat silly when we're doing videos. And uh, this is the essence of silly. Normally, we try to eat paleo slash primo, which is no processed foods, avoiding wheat, corn, and sugar. And then we keep doing silly trips and, and silly videos. Nick likes Cheetos and Takis a bit more than me, would you say? Mm-hmm. Which is your favorite flavor of Takis? Mm, just a regular. The stuff we're eating right now. What? I've never been a huge fan of those. They're a little harsh side. It almost tastes like they have vinegar in them. I don't know what makes them harsh. Um, whole lot of ingredients in both of these that are just not necessary. On both of them, you think they could be corn and uh, spices. MSG, maltodextrin, sodium diacetate, <laughs> partially hydrogenated soybean oil. You know if you can't pr pronounce the ingredients, it's uh, <laughs> probably shouldn't be eaten. Little anti-caking agent. <laughs> and then the old standby is red, red number four lake, yellow number six lake. <laughs> Sail the seas of the Yellow Lake number six. <laughs> Cheetos, it's the same story for the ingredients. They have a thing on the front that brags that it's made with real cheese. Um, <laughs> and then 50 other ingredients. Well, it can be, but, but maybe with real F-grade cheese. <laughs> F-grade cheese, yeah. So yeah, besides when we're being silly in videos, very proud to say Nick hasn't haven't had any cavities. <laughs> Done a lot of, a couple crazy sugar challenges, but it's fun to mess around once in a while and try to, try to be all through the rest of the time. Well, 
We're not quantity eaters. So this one should be a little interesting. This is quite a bit. It's like 18 servings of hot Cheetos and Takis. How you doing? Good. You liking them any more or less? I don't know. I'm not liking them any more. <laughs> <laughs> Which of the two would you say were hotter? Mm. Takis. Yeah, I agree. How would you rate them in context with other things that we've eaten? So actually, for context, especially if you're watching this for the first time, we've, uh, we have what? How many bottles of hot sauce in the house right now? About 120. We've eaten everything from the mildest sauces like Tapatio, Cholula, Frank's Red Hot, all the way up to the craziest extract sauces like plutonium in the source. We had plutonium in a recent video, it's nine million scoville, nine times hotter than ghost peppers. Um, pepper wise, we've had everything from bell peppers to Hungarian wax peppers to serranos. Jalpenos, habaneros, scotch bonnets, mm -hmm. ghost peppers fresh and dried, Trinidad and scorpions fresh and dried, seven pop brain strains, Carolina reapers, which is the Guinness hottest pepper in the world right now. So our heat level gets a little skewed. And with 120 bottles of hot sauce in the house, we do eat, I don't know if people believe me or not when I, mm -hmm. <laughs> the red, red finger. Mm -hmm. I don't know if people believe me in the comment section when I say that we eat spicy stuff almost every day. I mean, that'd be accurate, wouldn't you say? Mm -hmm. And then if we're not cooking up spicy at home, we go out to restaurants and he'll always, <laughs> Yeah. He always searches for whatever the hottest item on the menu is. And we love it. We can't get enough. We have talked many times in videos about the misconceptions of spice in foods. And spicy foods are actually very healthy for you. I know I've said that before, but... Um, I really think that they um, help with your immune system, mm -hmm. your digestion, high in vitamins. And we've seen that with Nick's health in the last few years. Uh, kids normally get lots and lots of colds. I know I had tons of colds and viruses when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think Nick has had a legit cold in five years, which is pretty wild. That's something that um, Ed Curry, who created the Carolina Reaper, believes very highly in, too. The health benefits of capsaicin. Now, <laughs> spicy foods coupled with corn <laughs> and a bunch of monosodium glutamate. No, this, is, this isn't remotely healthy, but... <laughs> Russia. 
Oh, I'm going to get 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 I'm going to Thanks once again for all support. We get 100,000 people. If there are silver play by the deal, then you know, it's just about 200,000. You guys are all. Goals on every day. You know, six times. So, everybody's done so. I'm supposed to be getting today without. Sometimes I'm going to get a little bit. Yes, I'm going to get a little bit. Sometimes I think there's always an ocean over there. Sometimes there's individual people. It's really cool. It's all in. We got a dollar. So, I'm going to make sure. We're supposed to see them. I'm going to make sure. Yeah, this is cool. Thank you so much, guys. Josh, are you even halfway? I think we're making good progress. I think we're making good progress, but it's a lot of ships. It is. Not getting any stomach aches or anything weird. We did similar preparation on this one as we do with almost all of our videos. Try to eat something. It's a really good method if you're going to eat spicy foods or peppers. I'm sure you'll do it on an empty stomach. Even a good old Jalapeno, even though that's not very high on the Scoville scale, if you eat it on an empty stomach, 
it's just it's a little too harsh but if you do have a full stomach of healthy foods and you drink enough fluids not to help with the heat or anything fluids are overrated as far as like helping with heat um, but just having some bulk in your system grilled chicken white rice salmon vegetables and then even when we ate a ghost pepper we didn't get we didn't get stomach aches Let's do it. Nick and I are going to go for a five hour hike after this. <laughs> Burn off all these ridiculous carbs. Focusing on the Cheeto because I'm not as sick as those as I am with Takis now. Get yeah, that harsh lime. Ooh. So gross. Taki taste is, it's almost taking on that harsh nastiness, like maybe because of the citric acid or whatever, but between the lime and whether it's even a real lime, and then uh, it does kind of, it's giving me like almost like the harsh mouth taste of like when we do the warheads. Mm. Check out our sour gauntlet video. That was one of the worst ones ever. I love that video, but that was 80 minutes of uh, nastiness. <laughs> Alright, you can see that these are empty too. That's what we got left. That's it. Final stretch. All right, pretty much. Mm. Ugh, this is salty. Blech. Oh, I want the last bit of talky goodness.
<laughs> That's the Takis and Hot Cheetos Challenge shot down. Crew Brothers 2015. And see you guys later.